So as quite recently and randomly given the Sears catalog from fall and winter of 1987 and I thought that'd be a quite interesting thing to look through. So this 1987 Sears magazine is actually still sealed, so guess what? We're gonna ruin that. I know it's a shame not to keep this discolored plastic wrap around this magazine any longer. So back in 87, you could have paid five bucks just to be able to look through the catalog of more things to buy from Sears. We already had quite the tour de force on the fashion with the cover, don't we? And here's the awesome coupons where you can get five or ten dollars off if you spend fifty or a hundred bucks. Man, look at what golden retrievers were dressing like back then. <laughs> But I will say that this dog was absolutely brilliant in Jessica 2. Really fixed all the problems I had with Jessica 1. Ready to go weekending? Ah, those were the days. Back when you could pose in front of your airplane before takeoff. Wait, so this is the dress from the cover? It's like half blouse, half table cover? Man, she be day tripping. You know, I wish I could go and be unhappy in front of an airplane like this kid. Ah, nothing but casual. Another win for Jessica too. Here's a bit more of the classical 80s fashion, if you will. Whoa, is she really on the move? Aw oh, yeah, break out the shoulder pads. This old black and white mustache man loves it. Well, I wasn't ready for the sexy Dr. Evil posing. Get this woman some more hairspray, stat! Oh, breaking news, we've got a sweater update. Bold and coming on stronger than ever. What the hell? Going for the Blossom look. <laughs> you know, Blossom really ruined these hats for everyone. Cardigan chic, I think you mean super villain chic. She looks like she's thinking about how she can poison the water and destroy the entire town. What? Million dollar looks for only 36 bucks? I'd be a fool not to buy these! And these clothes are from the Takes You a Second to Realize That This Isn't the Same Woman Copied Three Times collection. Oh yeah, she's got the Cord Lord ass. Ah, stretchers! That's what I want to think of when I think of fashion being in the hospital. <laughs> uh huh, yes, uh, very good. Now, allow Sears to teach you the true essence of feminine dressing. This dog knows all about it. Hey, let's get some denim on that denim. Double and denim. Are you ready for some subtle distinctions in pastel corduroy? Subtle! Subtle. You know what? It's a shame we lost this cool way to wear your jackets. You know, she's only cold on this half. <laughs> oh, you know, I was just thinking we need more denim on denim. And oh, look, big blue. It's the precursor to big green. You know, I'm really doing nothing but nitpicking this catalog, aren't I? And here's the current network news for you. Um, these existed. Our star performers of Fall 87, I guess, was like the airline stewardess look. Oh, come on. Disco's dead, lady. Maternity wear to have fun in. That sounds like a lie. So here's some fresh styles and career apparel where you're always pulling your corded phone as far as it can go. All right, I just <laughs> genuinely love this. We've got Jogosaurus and Aerobosaurus. Ah, uh, yes. So here's a portable whirlpool for a relaxing bathtub massage. I bet that thing was super noisy and just made a big mess. Also, those are some awesome jumpsuits there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check my blood pressure after making this video. This is how you know that these boots are for kids. They've got Winnie the Pooh glaring at them. You know, Pooh Bear, I don't think those will fit you. Come grow with us and look like an absolute cool. Woo, check it out. Now you too can have a weird face sweater. Wow, look at that casual posing. This is right before she fell over and broke her ass. Ooh, corduroy pants and suspenders. That's too cool for me. 
You know what, guys? I have a strange suspicion that people liked denim a lot in the 80s. Winnie the Pooh! Do these clothes have anything to do with Winnie the Pooh, or it's just because there's a couple of Winnie the Pooh plushes in front of them? Alright, so here's some clothing that actually has Winnie the Pooh on it, like this bunting bag? That doesn't sound right. Sounds like you're gonna go to jail for that one. And here's some more cool kids fashion, like girls that kind of look like that old 7-Up mascot guy and knockoff Street Fighter sweater. And by the way, 87, that's the year Street Fighter came out. Oh, 87 actually had this right. You get the baby to push you in the stroller. Apparently we forgot the invasion of the Winnie the Pooh plushes from 87. We better put these plushies to bed. A step in the right direction. <clears throat> I don't know, I think you might have steered these dorks wrong, Sears. Showing off in dragon? You know, I wouldn't normally associate dragons with the preppy dickweed look. <laughs> Alright, this guy wins fashion. Anyway, get some more popped collars in here! We're the dragons! Get ready to run for your lives in these sweet fashions by Sonic! Oh yeah, some cool old hockey clothes with some Nordiques merch and the original Winnipeg Jets. And show off that 80s love for ninjas with generic ninja merch. And get your kids dressed as popped collar Mario as soon as possible. <clears throat> oh man, look at this kid. He really is the champ, isn't he? Time for the classic The Leather Dummies, where this woman had a tough time choosing between this guy or the exact same guy. <laughs> this is kind of like MacGyver gone wrong, isn't it? He's so not MacGyver. I was MacGyver as a kid. Well, one of us is gonna have to change. This is awkward. Aw oh, man, I tried really hard to forget about this band, the Twit Trio. Ooh, we've got Flexo Waist Pants. It says built-in belt pants. Very good. Never be caught off guard without a giant red calculator at your side. <laughs> this looks like a Star Trek away team gone wrong. Oh, well I'm glad Dave Coulier made it in here. Now there's a look for dog sledding, I guess. Experience the ultimate gene. Imagine if you could just wrap yourself in denim head to toe. You know what? I've actually given that a lot of thought. Come to me, Denim! Oh, well, we found Pinhead's choice sweater. Puzzles. <laughs> we got Wayne Gretzky in here niking it up. Mm, oh no, I do me. What do you think? Welcome to the Boulevard of Broken Dreams Club. Denim, denim, denim. Corduroy. The casual shovel over the shoulder here gets me and... I don't know, what is this guy doing? He's ready for some paperwork out in the snow? What a team! Sexual harassment charges were filed two days later. Of the many Die Hard sequels, Sears Die Hard was definitely my favorite. <laughs> Look at what flowers were wearing in the 80s. What idiots. They told me to get my ass in Sears. I never knew it would end up like this. Look at this, just in the wall covering section, we have that Winnie the Pooh plush menace. Still hadn't quite gotten out of that wood paneling phase, even in 87, I guess. Ah, there we go. There's a more modern bathroom. I imagine that's a smart toilet. Oh boy, are you hungry for some really unappealing looking crap being cooked in microwaves? Ah, a nice look at an 80s fridge with some Tab and New Coke and Nielsen milk and... I don't think you'll see homogenized milk labeled quite that way anymore. Got some more 80s fridge action here, though they've switched to Diet Coke now and um... They've got some Mr. and Mrs. T. Never heard of that before. Look at these stylish new Kenmore vacuums, only at Sears. Man, the light on that one doesn't even look good in the ad. All right, now we're getting to some good stuff with the cameras. We got Safari, which is a brand I don't remember. And then we've got a Canon SLR, which is like 
the great times a million grandfather of the DSLR I'm shooting this on, you get to save 60 bucks, so you'd only have to pay $469.99 for this in 1987 dollars. Great. And now you can keep your cheap crap safe in this ugly tan safe. Alright, now here's the uh, sweet new computer rigs for 1987, though all they're talking about here is like the desks and chairs and stuff. Well, forget computers, you're gonna spend $349.99 on a typewriter. Or, or get this, you're saving a hundred bucks on this too. This is $700 for this typewriter, but, but it's worth it. Look, it's got this little LCD screen on it. Wow. Holy crap, did you guys know you can get cordless phones now from Northern Telecom, which is something that existed back then, I guess. Oh man, I wish I could actually order one of these, but probably not the price they're asking here of $2,000. But it's hard to imagine it ever getting any better than VHS, where you can get a, a Sears branded machine for 500 bucks. Um, this one is uh, 650. 550, 750, 600, and 800 dollars. And here's some of the TVs you'll find frequenting thrift stores that they can usually barely ever get rid of. And here's what they cost back then. So the, the lovely wood panel model here was 1,100 bucks. <laughs> Here's the most expensive one at $1,150, and then we got our you know, cheapy $900 TV. Another $900 and $900. And uh, speaking of wood panel nightmare, and I do believe my grandparents had that exact same VHS case. Die hard! And it's the 80s, so you definitely need a Casio keyboard. And maybe a guitar. And here's the electronic show place with some pretty sweet boom boxes and Walkman. I love the super 80s background they got for this page here. It's almost like this 80s catalog is from the 80s or something. And this is the Fisher pretty steep price. Oh, and here's the mat for you if you want one where you can actually potentially lose your kid in it. Ooh, look at that wonderful convenient mechanism for a footrest. All right, who's ready for an uncomfortable night of trivial pursuit? Ooh, who wants some bendy lights? Sure to break and probably shock you. When did Sears last update this photo? The 60s? And speaking of outdated looking, even for 87, did anyone actually ever want this look for their furniture? It just looks like an ugly brown blanket draped over them. And we got an insert here with the freedom of communication, innovative technology for your home or office with corded phones and a dual cassette answering machine. Wow. Ugh, what a tool. Oh, and here's a lovely idea, carpeting your toilet. So you can have some really gross carpet on it that's absorbed a bunch of shit and piss particles. And why stop there? Just carpet the whole damn thing. <laughs> that's gross. You know, I really can't imagine why this trend stopped. Ugh, just stop with this. This is an obscene magazine at this point. Nope, they ain't ever gonna stop. And I'm afraid this bathroom just blew itself. And this is for the people that want a gross carpeted bathroom that also reminds them of a crime scene. And unfortunately, there's no toy section at all in this one. I was hoping to get some Nintendo Turtles and Ghostbusters, but guess you just have to wait for the Wish book back in 87. So yeah, no Nintendo, but at least you can be an idiot that thinks they're sailing away on their bed. Or you can get some glow-in-the-dark sheets, which hey, those might actually have been kind of cool. The learning line. I don't know if dinosaurs on your sheets and curtains are really gonna teach you anything, but sure. Um, guess now you know dinosaurs slept too. And the adults get to learn that they're gonna have no sleep when they keep sliding off their sheets. 
And if you ever see someone walking around in a bodysuit, be sure to lasso and measure them. Anyway, I'm off to get some rest and have some nightmares about carpeted bathrooms. Our Sears Club points just paid for this order. Why she looks so concerned about this? 